we're coming out of the pandemic right now, you know, and I was one of the first people to catch COVID, you know. I was out the box, and we didn't really know what it was. And I tested positive for COVID. I never felt the need to go to Facebook or Instagram and say, pray for me. <laughs> I just tested positive for the coronavirus. I need everybody to call on all your prayer warriors. I need... I need, I need all the prayer warriors to come down from heaven and surround my immune system. Where are my prayer warriors? What the, what the fuck is a prayer warrior? What is that? Like, is, is there really a bunch of angels up in heaven putting on their war paint? Sharpening their knives. You get up to heaven, you're like, dang! Heaven is nice. This is beautiful. This is just how I thought heaven would be. This is amazing. This is per. Ooh. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, those are the prayer warriors. <laughs> yeah, you don't talk to them. They stay on their own clouds. <laughs> they only come down to heaven when people get on Facebook and ask to protect their immune systems when they catch the coronavirus. And you ain't gonna get your prayer warriors, you get somebody else's prayer warriors. Be careful who you friends with. <laughs> I don't know if anybody here has caught COVID, man, but when you catch it, it's a weird feeling, man. It's odd. Because when I caught it, I knew I had it. I had all the symptoms, all of them, you know? Cause, you know and it's weird because you'd be in denial until you test positive. Because, you know, I was just lying to myself. I was making up diseases because I didn't want to believe I had it. I just, I just woke up one morning and I felt different. Because I was like, ooh, ooh, oh, oh no, oh shit, oh fuck. I might have scoliosis. <laughs> I think that scoliosis kicked in from sixth grade. I took the brace off early. I've been slouching, I gotta sit up better. I'm gonna get something to eat. I'll feel better when I eat something. So I was by myself. I'm sorry, I got some, went to the pantry, got some oatmeal out. And we, had that, we had that quick oatmeal variety pack. You know, it's, it's, it's in a box, it's got nine packs of oatmeal. It's three packs of apple cinnamon, three packs of maple brown sugar, then the three packs that nobody eats in the middle of the plain shit. That's the biggest hustle in the oatmeal game, ain't it? Hey yourselves, nine packs of oatmeal, only six packs got flavor. So, so I got the apple cinnamon out. You know, took it out, opened it up, put some water in it, threw it in the microwave, heated it up, took it out, stirred it up. I go, okay, okay, I'm gonna feel way better after I eat this delicious apple cinnamon oatmeal. I must open up the wrong pack. <laughs> so, I just, so I checked the pantry. I said, nah, that, that's his apple cinnamon. Then I started blaming Quaker. These stupid motherfuckers put plain oatmeal on apple cinnamon pack. <laughs> then I tried the maple brown sugar. I couldn't taste that. I said, damn, I might have that shit. <laughs> Went to the doctor, got tested, came back positive. You know, then I had to start making all my phone calls. I was a damn super spreader. You know, everybody caught it I came in contact with. I was getting phone calls for three days straight. Motherfucker, I got it! <laughs> Motherfucker, I got it! <laughs> I mean, honestly, what do you say? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I still felt bad. I felt bad making my phone calls for the virus. I felt bad. <laughs> I did. I can't imagine what Magic Johnson must have felt like making his phone calls back in the day. That must have been. What? Too soon? He's fine. He's still alive. 